Raindrops, happy Saturday. Yes, how's it going? Let's see who we have in the building. Okay, we got Carol Ward. Hi, Carol. Crystal Hunter. Hi, Peggy, baby. Mrs. Risper, I'm not always late. <laughs> I have to get some things done, child. Okay. Hi, Miss Taylor. Okay, Kasha, Ali Frazier. Let me get myself together, honey. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Keisha Ruff. Tiffany Baby One. We got Mikkel Alexander in the building. We have a trivia from Houston. Okay, we got Toronto in the building. All right, I love you too, Ashley Moore. Yes, okay. Sai, I am girl. I'm gonna ask Miss Carmen everything, honey. We have a lot to talk about, child. Can I tell y'all something? I love being some Carmen. Yes! <laughs> Carmen is funny to me, baby. Hi, Iris. Okay, Marie Washington. <clears throat> All right. Did y'all enjoy tonight's episode? Okay, holla trivia, baby. Y'all did? Okay. Uh-uh. We got Sharif from Nashville. Erica, why are you on my ass? What I do, Erica, girl? Houston's in the building. Mia Nazar. Okay. 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 <laughs> Y'all are so funny in these comments, baby. All right. Cy White said tonight's episode was a 10 out of 10, and I would have to agree. Okay. So remember this. I'm going to bring Carmen in, okay? I'm going to bring Carmen in, Regina from Shreesburg, Louisiana. <clears throat> so remember, I'm going on tour. I will be in D.C., on Mother's Day, May 12th, at 3 o'clock p.m., it's a Mother's Day brunch, and I'm having the girls from Love and Marriage D.C., okay? We got Irena, Ashley, Winter, and Joy as my guest, okay? So if you are in the D.C. area, or even if you don't live in D.C., child, go get a flight. Take your mom, your sister, you know, um, to my live show in D.C., it's May 12th. Go on my website, kingdomreignent.com. Kingdom, R-E-I-G-N-E-N-T.com. Get you a ticket. It's going to be fun. Cash is going to be peaceful too, honey. It's going to be fun. Who wants to argue on Mother's Day? That's crazy. That's crazy. It's going to be fun. We have a live DJ. We got food. We got drinks. You got me. <laughs> And we're going to have a good old time. And don't forget, next Saturday, back-to-back -back episodes. We got the season finale and then part one of the reunion. The long-awaited reunion is airing next Saturday. Lord Jesus. Okay. So tonight's episode was a doozy. So, of course, I had to not go out tonight. I had to make myself available. I had to hop in the cloth this. Because I have to talk to Carmen. Carmen clocked in. Honey, she's a time machine, bitch. Carmen said, oh, so you got something to say? I know you ain't talking. Let's go. Let's motherfucking go. Ooh, I'm out of oxygen. <laughs> Without much further ado, honey, give it up. For the one, the only, honey, I don't think she's a devil. <laughs> we'll get into that soon. <laughs> Give it up for the woman who has entered Love and Marriage DC and has caused so much conversation. And Carmen is here to clear the air. Ladies, gentlemen, and they, give it up. For the beautiful, the beautiful Carmen. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Carmen. Hi. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How are you? 
fabulous. You look Absolutely. gorgeous as always. Thank you. Are you at home? I am. Are I just finished watching the show. It was very interesting. You want to dive right into it? No, go ahead. It's, this is you. I'm just here. <laughs> <laughs> Diving. Well, look, this was a fantastic episode. Um, you are a firecracker, okay? You are so beautiful. You're so funny. And we met for the first time on the set of a three-part reunion. Yes. And honey, I was like, ah! <laughs> honey, I was, I was sold, honey. Like my name was Bob Barker on The Price is Right, baby. So let's get into it. Carmen, you saw tonight's episode. A lot was going on. Before we get started, obviously, you come from the world of Ready to Love. And Ready to Love have a lot of diehard fans, right? Yes, they do. They really do. No. And we that, love you guys. You said what? And we love them. Oh yeah, no, no. The fans are ready to literally, I was shopping today and somebody said to me, true story, are you that guy from Ready to Love? I said, you think I'm nephew Tommy? Like what are we doing here? And she, I was here I go, Carmen, no. And she said, <laughs> here she go, Carmen. But you've been doing those interviews. I said, you mean love and marriage? But no, Ready to Love is such a big show with a huge fan base. You were on the show. You obviously was there looking for love. Yes. The way the show works, as Ashley calls it a game show, you date people to see if there's a match. And right. obviously, you know, you were dating, obviously, the men on the show. Clifton happens to be one of them. Joy happened to be another person, too, dating the men on the show, including Clifton. And now we're on Love and Marriage DC. When you first came onto this show, what did you expect your presence to be about? I really thought I was just going to be like their friend. Uh, I work with Clifton. He, he was my client. And so, of course, he was working on his beard oil. So, of course, I'm going to help him, right? So we're and you're a publicist, right? PR and brand management. Okay. So at first, of course, I'm going to help him, whatever he needs, if it's the beard oil or whatever. Um, and so that's kind of, but I'm also was close to both Joy and Clifton. So however it fell, I was okay with it. When did this whole controversy start to happen with people thinking that you guys are a throuple? Uh, when you were on Ready to Love, were you and Clifton ever intimate? No, never. Actually, we went on maybe one and a half dates. So they have like a group date, right? So you have a group date. You're really not date on a date with one person. You're just kind of like floating like bowling or golf or something like that. Um, and then we have one-on-one -on -one date. But I was a curveball. So I came in the game or the show later. Everyone had already knew each other. So when I came in, me and Clifton went on a date and we were like, cool. And he told me, he's like, you know, I really like Joy. And so once I saw that they really had a great connection, I'm like, okay, go ahead. Because there were seven other men that I could date. I'm not, I, if you found someone, I feel like, great. I love Black Love. Go ahead and do that. But through that, we became friends. And so after that, um, I they left the show with together at the, re at the um, reunion and the finale. And I left with a man. Um, me and my guy didn't work out. And that's Is okay. Is Donovan? Donovan, right. What happened between you and Donovan? Well, first of all, Donovan lived like two hours away. And DMV is like, everything should be within an hour. So when you say two hours, it's like, but he really wasn't there for love. He was more there for the show. Yeah. And meaning, so, meaning he was there to get famous. I feel like that. Okay. And also, um, it was about black love, and his preference isn't black women. Que pasa? <laughs> Shot, bottle girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, waiter, check please. So this black man goes on a black network with an all black cast 
And you mean to tell me he's not into black women? How did you find that out? Um, well, all of his exes are not black. That's one, one clue, right? Um, and then I heard through the grapevine that he was dating someone currently while he was on the show and she was not black. So, but I kept that to myself. I was just like, whatever, you know? And so <laughs> after that, we were supposed to go on a group trip together. It was supposed to be a couple's trip. And that was where the, the thruple or the threesome started. So I was like, me and Donovan broke up and Joy and Clifton were like, screw him. You still come on the trip with us. Cause they were like, you're not gonna stay home. That's messed up. So they were being friends. So I went on the trip. We had a great time. And then it started, well, why is Carmen there? But no one knew behind the scenes that that had just happened. Mm. And so they were just being like, cool. And like, you know what? You're not staying home. You know what? Let's go on this trip together. And that's what happened. That's so, where the start of the threesome or thruple started. Okay. Before we get into that too. So when it comes to Donovan, cause I'm so intrigued. Were you in love with Donovan? No. Okay. We were just dating. So the show, it is like a mashup of dating. Like, you don't even know who you're going on a date with when you go outside. They're like, meet at this location, and whoever shows up is whoever shows up. It may be someone you you like. It may be someone you don't like. So by the time I really got to know him, I had to really get to know him off the show. And that's a different breed, honestly. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. So when you found out his preference was white women, um, you decided to leave the relationship. Well, were you guys in an exclusive relationship or y'all just dating? We were dating. You guys, you guys were dating. Um, is he in a relationship with a white woman today? I, I don't even know. I'm out of my business. Okay. You don't follow him on Instagram anymore? I do, but I think he posts mostly business stuff. Like Oh, he's hiding his wife, um, his girlfriend from the... <laughs> So Donovan said, I'm not hiding my girl from the world. I'm hiding the world from my girl. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Drake. Hey, Donovan. Um, I hope you're happy, brother. Okay. So you and Donovan were supposed to go on this couple's trip with other couples, including the No, it was just, it was going to be, because we finished the show, it was going to be Donovan and I and Joanne Clifton. We were got taking it. this road trip. Got it. Um, when you were on this trip, did you and the petties have separate rooms or did you sleep in the same room as the petties? You messy goose. Of course. Of course we slept in separate rooms. I'm asking yes. for the audience, Carmen. Yes. No, of course. we. L listen, let me make it very clear. Joy and Clifton and I have never had sexual encounters in, at all. Me and Clifton have never had any sexual encounters. Me and Joy have never had sexual encounters. We don't, I mean, the closest we might have that someone could think it's a hug, which everybody would be having sexual encounters. So we have never done anything crazy, sleazy, you know, a couple shots in nothing. Are you offended when people were saying that you guys were a throuple? Because I'm listen, let's have a real conversation, right? And and, and by the way, raindrops, we do get into this at the reunion. So a lot of the stuff that I am not going to ask is being asked at the reunion and I don't want to spoil it, okay? <laughs> there you go. Now, let's have a real conversation. When you guys were in the deluxe suite, in the bed with the 93 account pillows and sheets, right? <laughs> and you had on a bikini with your double Ds and y'all were all on the bed, okay? And then the iPhone 10s was on and you guys you know what i'm saying like let's have, let's be real carbon and y'all were like you know giving t boss left on chili crazy sexy and cool and you guys were in the bed as a three band member and you know y'all were laughing and said guess where we at were y'all not when ashley said tonight she felt like you guys played into the the rumor were you guys at least, at least, 
having fun with it? Because it appeared that you guys were in on the joke. Well, who is you guys? You and the patties. Like like when you guys were were in the in the big giving crazy. Okay, so cool. no, so okay. so I'm so glad we're talking about. It. Let me okay. make this very clear because I do not like misinformation. Okay. Um, first of all, I'm very upset about that clip, okay? Because it was more innocent than you would think. Number one, it has been projected that I went on a trip with Joy and Clifton. No, 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 no. I was going out of country with my man. I was invited on a yacht. We're not gonna talk about that. And I was asked, who would you like to come on with you? I said, Clifton and Joy, would you like to come on? Jazz and Fred, another couple. And then there was my best friend and someone else. So what happened, that scene, we were getting ready to get on jet skis. My man is in the main cabin, the deluxe, deluxe, deluxe. Okay. And I said, let me so go. Wait, not, not Donovan, but another man? Yes. So wait. You were there, not with Donovan, but another man. This happened almost a year ago. Me and Donovan had been separated for quite a while at that point. Oh. Because you remember, like, I think, because some people actually keep count of the, the months. I believe um, Ashley was like, well, it's been seven months or eight months, right? So I had met my man. He came on the trip with me. He's in the cabin. We're all supposed to be going jet skiing. So I said, let me go see if Joy and Clifton are ready. I knock on the door. Joy says, come on in. I She was in a bathing suit, which was fine. And I thought Clifton was in a bathing suit. And so I'm like, hey, y'all ready to go on the jet skis? And they're like, yeah, let me get the towels and blah, 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 blah. And um, Clifton says, let's do a video. I'm like, okay. I'm thinking it's like an internal video that we going to be like, hey, what's up? I didn't know what was going on Instagram because that looks really. Mm. So I didn't even know the hashtag was happening. So they do the video and like I thought it was like, who's not who's here? Like a funny thing. Like I didn't know it was to Ashley. I heard her say when we were on our scene that that Alicia was the sidekick, but I really didn't put it together mm -hmm. when I guess she posted it. I never really like thought that's what she's talking about it. So it wasn't like we sat back and was like, Hmm, how can we get back at them? I'm in Grenada. I'm having a great time. Okay. So for me to hear over and over again, that I went on a trip with them, like I'm a little like step and fetch, no man, baby, you went on a, you went on a trip with me. Get your shit right. Get your shit right. Like that really pissed me off because that's weird. Why would I, you know, I can see that one time and we have done, you know, trips and stuff together. But in that moment, my man was in the cabin. And Why wasn't was your, so is your, so you're on this, this, this double date trip, right? Um, is your man not interested in being in the on on camera? Cause why why wasn't he ever um, a part of, of of even that or or some other stuff when you guys were you know on the show and stuff like that? Okay, so originally oh. uh, my man Ray, he is from New York. So when I said tonight he doesn't live here, that was true. So he would come in and we would date, and you know, of course. Um, but when he did come in. Like when I was hearing this throuple, I'm like, listen, let me just bring my man to one of the parties and stuff. And they was like, no, no, that's okay. He can be over there. And then when I heard, when I first heard about the throuple, if you notice, like Arena had been talking about it early on, I heard about it. I called Arena. I said, what, what's the deal? What, I mean, I'm here. Like, talk to me. She was like, I'm just being a friend. I've been married for a long time. I just, I'm like, but you know me, Arena. And I have a man. She was like, yeah, but so I reached out to Jamie and I was like, Jamie, like, and I have this on text, so he better not try to lie. You, you called Arena's husband. No, I called Arena. Okay. And said, why are you talking about me being in this threesome or, or 
me posting videos. I called her. So, but then you said you called Jamie. Then I texted Jamie and said, Hey, okay. I said, I don't like this threesome process. Can, can we have a scene where my man is there so we can dead this? And he said, no. Jamie said, no. He said, just go with it. Go with the rumor. So do you feel like the Tyler's and the Petties were in on this rumor because it gave great conversation for the show? I don't know. I, I, I was really disappointed because Arena, Jamie have met my man. We drank together, hung out together. We went to Jamie's birthday party. Like Joy went on a trip with me and my man. All these times when people had conversations like, Carmen's trying to get Clifton and, and, and Carmen's watch her. Why at any point did you just say, Carmen has a man. I've met him because as long as I look single, I could look thirsty and I'm not thirsty. So oh, no, baby, you are a fully hydrated. You are a walking, <laughs> you are a walking alkaline 9.5 pH bottle. Um, you are fully filled up with the finest H2O, baby. So there's nothing thirsty about you or dehydration, okay? So when it came to all of this, you figured that this is going to look bad for you because you didn't want to have this reputation for what? Being a homewrecker, being a hoe? Like, what was your worries about this, this rumor being seen on the show? Well... I felt I felt betrayed, honestly, because I've betrayed helped by who? By Clifton and Joy. Okay. And then I don't know Jamie Narena that much. So, but I'm just like, I'm not asking you to lie. I'm asking you to tell the truth. Mm. Like you've met him, you've hung with him, we've been at your events. Like, why are you not saying something and you're making it look like I'm single when I'm not? So I felt betrayed and I saw, if you look at it, Joy and Clifton, they they say it's not true and they defend it, but they don't, no, they don't say it's not true. They say Carmen is our friend. Mm -hmm. That's not saying Carmen's not in a throuple with me. That's just saying she's my friend. And then someone, cause it, she's your friend, but y'all still can be in a throuple, right? And I feel like if they just said, look, just like I said, there has nothing happened with me and Carmen and she has a man, I think it would dead it. Mm -hmm. Like they kind of skate around it. And I'm like, this is my reputation. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a businesswoman and I've helped you guys. Why are you guys doing this? And then Joy, like for her to say, oh, when I saw the scene with Ashley and Winter and they were like, yeah, Joy said Carmen's coming on the trip. It looks like I'm like needing them. No, baby, I don't need them. I've helped them. And so I'm like, why are you projecting that I am a tag along when I'm the one that got you on the boat, baby? Never. I'm not a tag along. So that was like, and then the venue tonight, when she lost the venue, I got that venue for her. Were you also Joy's pub assistant manager? No. Me okay. and Joy have, I've helped her through Clifton. Cause you know, they're a couple. So if I do something for Clifton, I'm like, yeah, you enjoy coming, you know, come to this event, do this and do that. But Clifton and I were under contract. Me and Joy have never been under contract, has had no money exchange or nothing like that. Okay. <clears throat> got it. Got it. Got it. So when you, when you saw all of this unfold, even in tonight's episode, um, you guys were at Joy's party you know, her birthday celebration and you're with the other cast members and the subject matter of the throuple came up and Joy chucked the deuces and said she has to go speak to people. Did you feel like Joy left you hanging to dry? Yes. And I think in her confessional, she was like, yeah, they called me over there, but I'm not dealing with that. First of all, the conversation should have never been had because we had Joy's birthday party. Okay. That, sh that shouldn't have ha happened. However, when they are trying to have us both there to debt it, you leave me. And now I'm like, okay, I'm surrounded by these women. Now I'm not worried about it. That's not a problem. However, 
Like, you know, I, Joy know I'll pop off easily. So I'm like, okay, Joy knows. They don't know. So I'm like, okay, Joy, why? You know, I like that Ashley was like, hey, we're talking about this. Mm-hmm. Come join. She could have gave us two minutes. So I'm like, shorty, you just going to leave me over here? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what Ashley was was obviously being honest, saying, look, we're talking about this throuple thing, and did you call Arena social Arena or? I call Arena what? No, I, I said, I, no, Arena is the one, she the head, she the head one that be finding the videos, and I'm like, Arena, you need to get out of retirement and find a job, because right now, I didn't know I hired her as my social media, like, expert, because she is all in my, my stuff. Do you think Irena could just be a good friend? You know, she is somebody that's been married for, you know, over two decades. So could she be looking out for her girl or do you think she was being nosy? I think she was triggered. I think some stuff has happened in her marriage, which she said on the show. And so she resonated with something that she went through, either with her and Jamie or however. And so she just put that on Joy. When Joy said, this is not happening, Carmen is our friend, it should be done. It should not be a whole conversation over and over and over again. And also, if you're talking about me, bring me to the table. Don't talk about me behind my back. There was a whole episode where she talked to the psychic or intuitive, talked to the mama, the lizard at the aquarium. She talked to Jamie. I'm like... I'm like, how are you going to talk to everybody but me? Not the lizard. <laughs> Not the lizard. <laughs> Not the lizard. What the lizard got to do with it? What in the zoo is going on here, Tiger King? Okay, wait. <laughs> Not the Mississippi Mass Choir, <laughs> girl, honey. What is going on? I'm like, and I'm never even called. I'm like, I don't even know this is happening right now. Carmen. And I like Jamie and Arena. You do? <laughs> Until she was doing too much. I'll be like, come on now. <laughs> Okay, so when you were confronted by the OGs, okay, it's Ashley, Irena, and Winter. <coughs> it's a nice episode. Um, Winter wanted clarification, and you proceeded to tell Winter, look, now I know you ain't the one to talk. Before we get to the rest, and I know, I know things are different now, but let's go back in the time machine. When you instantly clocked it and checked Winter, what did you mean when you said, now I know you of all people ain't talking? Because, <laughs> because I just was thinking, okay, Winter, you just had a married divorce. And, I, and I'm friends with Winter, but, but it was like how she was looking. If you look back, how she was looking at me, she was like, and her finger was like, so you don't think that that and I was like, okay, and Arena right here. I'm like, okay, y'all, y'all messing with the wrong one. So when she was like, you don't think that's and I'm like, Winter, you know me. Like, don't play me like that. But you just like you are not a, a relationship expert. Why not? Is that is that in her resume? Or her bio? I'm sorry. I'm not on LinkedIn, is it? I don't think so. Oh. Is she, is she an expert in something else? Um, I think she's a life coach. <laughs> and that's no, but I'm just like, I'm surrounded <laughs> in winter, and I like winter, but I just think it was too much when she was like, 
pointing at me and she was like, but you don't think that's a little weird? And I was just like, okay, I've had enough with y'all. <laughs> like I'm over. So I'm like, I'm, I'm taking one out each time. I'm just like, okay, well, let me start here. <laughs> you have the audacity to talk to me. I'm like, okay. Because we cool. Like, why are you coming at me like this? Okay, so we gonna we gonna see how that's gonna work out. But I think I think winter is cool. But I just at that point, I was like, I'm an I'm surrounded, right? That's why I'm like, Joy, are you gonna come over here? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because at, at this point you felt that you're in the lion's den. <clears throat> and that these girls were going to obviously ask the question. So you really attempted to clear the air tonight. Obviously, Raina's like, look, I'm a married woman. I've seen things, and I'm looking, for, I'm looking out for my girl. You said you felt like she had too much time on her hands talking to, you know, the lizard and the intuitive healer and everyone else. Um, Ashley inserted her commentary in terms of, like, what was going on. You said tonight that you felt that Ashley was the HBIC that she's the leader. What did you mean by that? Okay, you guys have to understand, I wasn't really a part of the group. So I'm on the outside, which you, on the outside, you see something differently, the different dynamics, right? It seemed like, in my opinion, they valued Ashley's opinion and friendship, right? So like Arena, she may have problems with Ashley, but they always, end up back together. And she's like, I want us to clear it, clear the air. Same with Joy. So obviously Ashley is a key <laughs> part. This is me not really knowing Ashley. Mm -hmm. So there's no favoritism. Me seeing, okay, y'all care what Ashley thinks, which normally that is a leader because no one's going to follow someone they don't care about. They always want to befriend her. And that's me on the outside. So that's why I said that. I'm like, seems like she the head bitch in charge, but they ain't like that, but I didn't care. <laughs> oh well, I don't think no one likes that now. So at, at that time you thought Winter and Irena were followers. Not so much followers. I think they they look up to Ashley and they really they know who she is. I feel like they have behind the scene like friendships and they know that Ashley's gonna say what she wants to say, pop off and say whatever she wants to say. But I feel like deep down they may think there's like there's love or a connection there. So they're like, let's just get over it. You know, they get mad and then they get over it. They get mad and get over it. Who do you think the HBIC of the show, or do you think there is one today? I I haven't changed my thought. It's, I would say Ashley seems like she's the leader of the show. You think? Why do you think that? Um. Even even today, you you, you still stand by it. Well, based on branding also, when I look at the, the cover, she's in the middle. <laughs> Why the Supreme is <laughs> That ain't that I didn't do that. I didn't do it. Before listen, before people ask, I want to make this very cause Carmen, because you know I get blamed for everything, child. I have nothing <laughs> to do with the artwork. I have nothing to do with posters. So before y'all get on me, Carlos, Carlos, Carlos. Who was in the middle before that, though? Monique Samuels. <laughs> You're not going to play me. <laughs> play with your mama. Don't play with me, baby. No. Okay. Monique was in the middle. Don't get mad at me for just seeing it. Okay. And then Monique got moved out and then... And Monique was coming from the Potomac Housewives, mm -hmm. big name, her and Chris, great people, moved out, and who was put in the middle? Again, I have nothing to do with posters, but... Um, I, I, think, I, think you need to, I think you need to play the, uh, <laughs> plead the fifth. <laughs> no, I got... No, I'll tell the truth. No, no, no. I'm going I'm to... I'm on the witness stand, and I'm going to speak the truth. Everyone knows that I have nothing to do with the with the photos. That that's not my. But you gotta I, prove it. No, I no real talk. This is this is me being real, honestly. The well, network... that's that was one of the things that I, I said. Yeah. But I like I said on the outside. I mean, of course, Joy and Clifton. Joy wouldn't be the leader because she's new. So that only leaves Ashley and Arena. 
and that's not saying that Arena is not a good person or should not be the leader. I think she is um, someone who is the peacemaker, right? Yeah. At the end of the day, uh, she wants to make sure that, hey, I know we don't get along, we fighting, but come on, we family. That's how I look at Arena. Except okay. with me. She don't she don't do that with me. Well, not to spoil it, but raindrops. Irena versus Carmen at the reunion is insanity. And I don't mean the workout. It is it's insane. Irena versus Carmen is on a whole nother level. It shocked me, it surprised me. And unfortunately, at the time, I didn't have my oxygen boost. Because <laughs> I would have muted it then, but I did have Money Rainer's Bob, <clears throat> so that was suffice. <laughs> um, what is going on now when it comes to your relationship or friendship, rather, with the Petties? Are you and the Petties friends today? No. Why? Well, several several different reasons. Um, you know. Like I said, as I'm watching it and and one of the scenes that really bothered me and I actually had a conversation with Joy was when they first asked about me. Well, who's Carmen? And Joy says, Carmen is Clifton's number two and a castmate. She never called me a friend. We go back. She never called me a friend. Clifton said, Carmen is our friend and business. We do business together. That's more appropriate. So I'm like, Joy, why? I, I asked her. It was her, Clifton, my man, Ray, and myself. And I sat her down. Is there an issue? Let's clear it up. She said, no, there's no issue. And then there was other times that she is the main person other than Arena that keeps saying Thruple. Well, Thruples work together. This is what Thruples do. And I'm like, stop pushing that. Don't say Thruple. So I'm like, just like tonight, I'm like, are, do y'all like that? Because that doesn't make me feel good. I'm your friend. Why are you keep saying thruple? You know? Um, and then she would just do little things that were just like, made me have a side eye. Like I, I had went to um, a party, uh, a Christmas party, and I ran into Ashley and Arana and Alicia. And Ashley's like, are you coming to my Christmas Eve Eve party? And I'm like, I, I didn't know anything about it. She's like, I told told Joy to invite you to this party and this party. And I'm like, I don't know nothing about it. She was like, well, I'm going to invite you personally. So I'm like, I talked to Clifton. I'm like, why is Joy not including me in stuff that people want me to come to? He was like, I don't know. Um, and then also I just felt like Clifton did not shut it down about the, the threesome or whatever. And both of them knew I had a man. And we know that one part where nobody's identifying that I had a man. I have a problem with that. So, but what, what <clears throat> did you feel like that's enough reason though to stop being friends with them? Is it do you think that could have been a conversation that you guys could have had to address? Because again, just me being on the outside looking in, um, it doesn't sound like it was that deep to where you were in a friendship with this couple or or in, in, in your world, were you so were you so hurt by it? Because I want to respect your feelings too. So were you so hurt by it that that was enough for you to sever ties with them? Well, the problem is I address. I have no problem addressing stuff. So I'm like, Joy, is what's going on? Is there a problem? She said no. So what am I supposed to do after that? But if you keep doing stuff after that, that seems like you really don't mess with me then I'm going to think it's an underlying situation. And I have to respect that because now I can't, it's hard to be friends. We already know it's hard to be friends with Clifton and not friends with Joy or friends with Joy and not friends with Clifton. We're, they're dealing with that with um, uh, Ashley and, and, and Quick. When was the last time you spoke to the Petties? Um... Right after the re well, I haven't been talking to Joy because she blocked me on Instagram and made a whole big deal about it about a year ago. Joy blocks you on Instagram? Mm-hmm. Why? You know why. 
What did she say? She didn't say nothing. You said she made a big deal about it a year ago. Did she make a big deal about it on social media? Well, the, the bloggers came at me like, Carmen was blocked by the way. I'm like, okay. So although at one point in time she blocked you, you were still friends with Clifton. Yes. We were and still that, friends after that. You guys were still, you and Clifton were still friends after that. Mm -hmm. um, do you miss your friendship with Clifton and Joy? You know what? I feel like we had some really good times. We really had some really good times. I'm not I'm not a type of person that's going to act like, you know what, you were friends with somebody and then you're going to forget everything that happened that was great. We had some amazing times. We had some great laughter. Um, I just think there has to be some respect, you know. Um, if you do have a problem with me, come to me, talk about it, communicate about it. But you can't, like, you can't move move reckless and think I'm not seeing it. And now I have to react. So, but no, so it was it was quite a long time after Joy and I stopped being talking that me and Clifton were still friends and we had business together. So ever since the the show started airing, <clears throat> you were on Ashley Winter's YouTube channel and you were making um, some statements in regards to Irena and Jamie's marriage. No. So what happened was I had a party about two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, Irena and Jamie came. Joy and Clifton were supposed to come, but they had an emergency. Irena and Jamie came and Winter was there. There were some conversations at my party that had to do with whatever their marriage. Because it was at my party, I got pulled into it. So they're like, well, was that Carmen's party? Was that Carmen's party? Wasn't this person there? Wasn't that person? I'm like, yeah. But that's as far as it went. So it was kind of disrespectful for them to continue to bring me into something. I wasn't in the conversations that was talking about Jamie and Arena's marriage. I just held a party. But when you were on the live, you mentioned some things that allegedly were happening in their, in their marriage. No. That so what, what Winter said, Winter said it was at Carmen's party, right? I said, yeah, yeah they were at my party. They were like, and the da da da. And I'm like, yeah, that, that person was there. That's it. I don't know anything other than that because I wasn't in the conversation. So basically Winter was saying, I think her and uh, Arena's friendship had a problem because of this incident at the party. At your I party. Was, at, right, at my party. And I'm saying, yes, that happened at the party, but I don't, I'm not privy to what happened. So to clear it up, you were confirming that said conversation happened at the party, but you weren't, you weren't um, repeating the conversation in which they were having. Right. I've never repeated, okay. but I wasn't in that space to hear the conversation. So it's nothing for me to repeat. I would be repeating what Winter said, and I'm not repeating what Winter said. So, so I got pulled in. You got pulled into it because everything blew up to where obviously there's been this whole thing for the past couple of weeks in regards to um, things being said about you, the Tylers, Ashley, Winter, marriages, cheating, relationships, all of these accusations have been flying around. You seem to be in the middle of it. Um, things got so bad that supposedly there were some revelations of text messages um, that I believe included you um, as the source of information that was spread about the time. No, and see, this is what is definitely not fair. So there was some kind of person reaching out to bloggers, right, saying... The, uh, Jamie and Arena's marriage, da, 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 da. and Jamie posted, we found out who it is. The name starts with a C. And so what are people going to think? Carmen. But Kamisha Reviews post the person. It was a woman named Cookie. It was not Carmen. But why wouldn't you just say, because people are in the comments like, you mean Carmen, you mean Carmen, you mean Carmen? He let it go. 
And I don't appreciate that. You knew it wasn't me. So in the Kamisha reviews, she puts, posted a picture of the woman with them. So this woman had been in their house. She was friends with other cast members and she was just pollinating. And so when he put C, he didn't want to put her name out. It kind of put me in a position that looked like it was me. And I would wish when he would have put it out there, he would have just said, it's not Carmen because he knew it wasn't Carmen. Is there a lawsuit happening between you and the Tylers? Oh, so I did send him a, a cease and desist. You sent who a cease and desist? Jamie. In regards to? When he was talking to this gentleman, the gentleman who was at my party called me and was like, um, you know, what's going on? I said, it's probably the flutter of what's going on about what happened at the party. He was like, okay. He's like, I don't want to be a part of it. I'm like, that's not my business. I left it alone. So I don't know how it got, but Jamie called the man, recorded his conversation, which is illegal in the state of Maryland. And the man said, yeah, I had, I had called Carmen and Carmen's like, she's not in it. She put it on winter. Well, I'm not putting it on winter. What I'm saying is winter said this happened at my party. Okay. So he's like, and Carmen's number is blah, 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 blah. Jamie put my number on the internet. And I had people texting me and calling me. I'm like, now we're talking about someone's marriage. You're talking about my safety and my peace. Why would you not bleep that out? So I try to call Jamie. I try to text him. He wouldn't answer. I are, don't you, think are, you, are you blocked? No, I'm not blocked. Did it did it turn green or blue? It was blue. Okay, so you, you're not blocked. Okay. Because I'm like the type of person that's going to go straight to the person. You know, like, hey, this is not okay. Take my number down. So the guy texted him, sent me the screenshot. Take that down. Don't do that. That's not okay. You know, and it was like 30,000 views before he even tried to take it down. Is it down today? It's down now. Okay. Okay. And but I'm like, if we're talking about marriages and trying to, to damage people, you know, as a police officer, as a detective, Jamie, you know, it is not appropriate to have somebody's phone number on the social media. It's just not appropriate. So where do things stand now between you and, and the Tylers even? Um, you know what? I'm a fair person. Like, you know, treat me with respect. I treat you with respect. Whenever the gossip at my party, I never went to the blogs. I'm not on Twitter. I don't do the Twitter game and I don't be doing hashtags. Da -da 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 -da. I don't be doing that. So, like, I come to the person straight up and mm -hmm. I have not done that. So kind of leave me out of it. When I really think about the Tylers, even before that, they had an issue with me. What is the issue? Tell me the issue. There is no issue. You're making up stuff. Would you like to clear the air with people? People are saying that you are messy. Um, people are saying that even on Ready to Love, that you allegedly were going behind people's back, breaking up the other couples. Have there is no couples on Ready to Love. We dating. <laughs> but were you, were you, there, there are rumors that you were doing things behind the scenes to like interfere and people dating them. Have you have you heard that? Yes and no. I think they look at me as as I don't know how our viewers look. I'm a competitive person. And military like my goal on Ready to Love was to find love, to date. So I think they wanted me to kumbaya with females and hey girl, I'm like no, I'm not going to do that because we're dating the same person. I'll respect you, say hello, but I'm not going to be like best friends because I don't want you to feel like if I'm dating the same person now we're weird. So, no, it was fair game for every man and every woman in that situation. Nobody was in a couple and if that was the case, then when I found out Joy and Clifton were together, I would have still been talking to him. I did not. 
So let's clear the air while, while I have you. There's been accusations that you are only befriending Ashley because you want to spot on Love and Marriage DC. Listen, I had heard an interview with, I believe, Joy. Might have been on yours. And she was like, clout chasing. I am clout. I've been on several networks, honey. And look at my resume or Google me. I have won awards for Mother of the Year. I do community service. I have murals that, that are up. Like, let's be clear. I don't do just one thing. I was on Fox 5 DC for over a year, okay, as a featured co-host. Know your, know your information before you come at somebody. I'm a disabled veteran. I serve my country. Please, I got a resume that runs, runs. Now, if I wasn't that, then you could say something. I'm on Bravo, OWN, and, and Fox 5, and plenty more. MTV has asked me to do stuff. So, no, I do not have to clout chase nobody. Now, if the person who is saying it has the same resume as me, then you can check me. But if that person don't have the same resume as me, who hangs out with the mayors and Congress people, then you can check me. But until then, sit down. Have several seats. Well, I'm Googling you and I, <laughs> I'm Googling you, girl. And I do see <laughs> you are mom of the year. <laughs> Magazines. Yes, I work with the, yes, I work with uh, NFL legends. Okay. Um, and you have a company because I Googled you. Um, are you still the founder and CEO Authentic of Authentic Connections? Yes. yes. <laughs> Do you live in the Black Richest County in DC too? Say it one more time. Yeah, no, real we'll talk. What are you? Are you this? Are you this? Is it? Is it? Um, I forgot that fact. It's the same county. The Tyler's. No, 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 no. Oh. Uh, Winter lives in. We have been uh, probably five years minimum in a, minimum in a row of a median income of a, over a hundred thousand. Most people individually make over a hundred thousand. Loudoun County, born and raised. Okay, so it's like I don't. I'm not a braggadocious person, but don't try me. Okay, because my resume is very extended. Okay, so when someone is like, oh, clout chasing, we came on the same show, ready to love. Okay, both left. I did Fox 5 for a year or more. Okay, was on Bravo twice, asked to come back a second time. What were you doing on Bravo? That's my old stopping grounds. Below deck, you'll see me uh, on the 15th and on the 22nd. And, <laughs> of April? And, and Granada. Does that, does that sound familiar? The trip that I just went on? Okay. And I have and I have the email where they said, Carmen, we would love you to come back. Tell me somebody else. Bravo has between 850 to 1.5 million every view. Okay. Now check somebody when they talk to me. <coughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I hate when people do that. <laughs> like well, that's why I want you to come. I wanted you to have your say because I, I have spoken to all the cast members and I wanted to make sure you had your say, child. Um, going to your man. So you're in a relationship with a guy named Ray who's from New York? Yes, but now he lives here with me. Where's he at now? Babe. Woo! <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? Oh, what up, though, man? You good? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good too, man. You you want you want to sit down real quick, bro? Oh uh, God, I'm, baby. This is a little chill. Let me let me slide right there. You, you want me to sit on your lap? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <What's up? laughs> How you doing? We've been right. together for over a year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For a while. Long time. And it's crazy to see all this. It's, it's, it's insane to see all this going on. And I used to hang out. I hanged out with Clifton a lot. So it's very weird to see all this going on. So, so Ray, Ray, this is my real mm -hmm. voice, by the way. 
So Ray, <laughs> like what? A- <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. So Ray, what is? First of all, you're very handsome. Oh, appreciate it. Thank you. You are. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to grow my beard like yours, but I'm having a hard time because <laughs> my audience likes me to, you know, look a certain way. So no, I understand. You know I, what I'm I don't, I don't, I don't get judged right now. I'm good. Yeah, because you look like you could be Megan Thee Stallion's bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm um, her bodyguard. I got a hard job already. I got my bodyguard. <laughs> it's a hard job right here. Pause. So look, Ray, real quick. You moved to DC from New York City to be with Carmen. Yeah, and it's rough because DC is different. So it's been a rough, it's been a rough road. It's been very rough for me. <laughs> so how did you two meet? Well, you we met online. Um, we met online. Um, I saw her on Facebook and I, you know, I stalked her like every day. I kept messaging until I got my chance. And she gave me a chance to come to DC. So I hopped on a train. And then she met me at the train, and uh, I hanged out in D.C. <laughs> and that's how I kept bothering until she gave me a shot. So I really won the challenge. You know, that ready to love. I really won because they did all that, and I still won at the end of the day. <laughs> so furthermore, um, <laughs> you two are in an exclusive relationship. Are, mm-hmm. are you two trying to start a family, get married? What, what's the plan? Well, I mean, of course, that's always the goal is, I mean, marriage and stuff like that. But as we grow, I think that we have an amazing relationship now and we're growing every day. And, you know, I'm still converting to D.C. So getting used to the culture here is hard. Not getting used to her. Getting used to the culture here is hard. So I'm adapting. Yeah, he likes moving his hands. He'd be like, Carmen, you know, I'd be like, put your hands down. Yeah, they're not used to that out here. So I'm I'm trying to get used to the move, like how everybody moves out here. It's very different. So plus, I'm not like, I'd rather be engaged for a long time. I'm not like rush and get married type Mm. person. I want to be engaged and enjoy the engagement and decide what I want to do. Like, Mm. I already told him that I don't want to rush to get married. Yeah. And uh, I, we it was, we good. We we happy. Yeah. We drinking. We get to party. We living. I'm I'm happy. I feel like I'm already found my partner. It's more than marriage. I found my partner. I'm good. <laughs> what do you do for a living? Well, I have a nonprofit. I build self esteem for children through fashion and art. I teach kids how to model. So I've been doing that for the last ten years. It's called House of Noir, and I've been doing it for years. So I'm, I'm trying to bring that into the D.C. area now, helping kids out um, with building their self esteem through fashion and art. Do you have kids? Yeah, I have one son. Mm-hmm. How old is he? Six. He's six. Okay. Yeah, I got a little one. I started very late. <laughs> how, how old are you? I'm 40. Dang, I should have said that online. No, you're yeah. fine. I mean, <laughs> that's fine. It's, you, you look amazing. That's fine. Uh, thanks, thanks, yeah, thanks. yeah. Um, Carmen, have you met the child's mom? No. Why not? I mean, I think, <laughs> not say this bad thing. I don't have, I don't have, I don't have like drama in that area. No, it's I don't not have really drama. drama. It's, just it's just time. I, yeah, time. And, and I it's don't time. think everything goes right away. I'm not. I'm. Not, I understand where I'm living here, but I also got to get acclimated here too. So I want to make sure every family's blending is still family's blending, and we got a mesh. Yeah, you know? he just moved here in October. Yeah. So, so it's like gradually yeah. baby steps, and like meeting family person. members mm-hmm. and, you know, it's just, you know, I don't, I don't want to rush anything after ready to love. It's just like, it's too much. Like, I just don't want to rush it. And my son is six, him running yeah. around and he, he, he he's still little. So he go, he got yeah. fast pace. <laughs> so you, you, you met Clifton and you've been around Clifton. Yeah. A lot. So- a lot. So what do you what do you take of all this going on as you're watching the show with the crazy, sexy, cool video of them in the bed yeah. um, in their bikinis, um, yeah. this whole rumors of being a thruple. What do you make of it? And what are your thoughts about all of this? Well, being being honest, I mean, it was hard to deal with. I mean, but I know Clifton. I've been around him and we had conversations. I felt safe around him. And it's not. And I understand that people want to have their comments and thoughts and everything. I've watched, I mean, if it, nobody's going to be a better investigator than me. I'm from New York, I'm, and I'm, I'm really New York. I, I watch everything. I watch how she talks, walks. I know how she moves. I'm going to know everything. I'm a stalker, so she knows I'm a little crazy. So a I'm going to find out are you, are you, are you, anybody on here going to find out. That's no doubt about it. Are you a Scorpio? 
No, I'm a cancer, so I'm very emotional. <laughs> I'm all the way emotional. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't don't cry right now, bro. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna I'm gonna find out before the rest of everybody else does. So you know, I felt comfortable in the space with them. As it got as time went, I didn't feel comfortable. I do, you know, I have a different kind of energy for him now because I felt as a man he should have been said something. That's my opinion, and he knows me, and I know everything that played out. He hasn't spoke on me. He acts like I didn't exist. We drank, we party, we went on trips together. So it's very weird to me. So I, me and them, we ain't the same. I, I'm not built like how they are. People can be fans of them, but I really don't care. I'm not about that. I'm not, if you act weird with me, you weird to me, period. I was around them a lot of times. I got pictures all day. And it's no cap with, with Jamie me. and Arena With too. Jamie and Arena, and it's no cap with me. So it's very weird for them to act like they don't know me and just play the story is very weird for me. So I'm not going to, I'm not for that. Whatever everybody else saying, I'm not for the weird stuff. You act weird to me once, you got to get the hell up out of my face. <laughs> but have you have you addressed this with Clifton yourself? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. That, that trip, I, I watched y'all interview with him going on. When we was at that trip where she said her and Joy talk, uh, we all it was a four way conversation. And I said it to them. I said, "Yo, I feel a little weird. So you gotta make me feel comfortable. This is when we was in Grenada. I need to feel comfortable with everything. I need you to tell me like a man what it is. And I felt comfortable because I was around them a lot. I was around both of them." And so, it, and she leaves her phone around me. She gives me her phone. I, I, I want to be on speaker talking to Clifton yeah, and Ray I, would be right there. I'm like, like I said, everybody different. I understand he a, like, he a different kind of guy. Like around where I'm from, I would never let it rock. But because how he is, I felt comfortable around him. He's not, he's not that kind of guy. So I felt, so, I felt comfortable around him. And she not moving like that. I seen her with all the, the like NFL players all the time. So I know that she very, she keeps everything transparent. She keeps the phone open all the time. She don't do weird stuff. I've been around weird people. She don't move weird with me. Are you in love with Carmen? Oh yeah, I'm. I'm more than love. I mean, I'm. I'm a stalker now. I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm a little crazy now. I'm like, Yo, where you going? She can't go to the corner. She can't go to the store without me. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm well, coming. I don't know if that's good. I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm unhealthy. I never said I was a healthy love. I, I'm unhealthy love. I'm Is it healthy for you, Carmen? <laughs> he's he's Carmen. Over. Carmen, blink twice if you okay. Up to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, which yeah. no, and what he's saying is true. We actually sat down on the yacht. You, I don't, they might show that, but um, yeah. and and we talked transparent with Joy and Clifton because yeah. we wanted us all to have an understanding and comfortable with each other. So I, I'm kind of confused on how things turned out. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, okay. I mean, like I said, I'm cool. I was cool with them. There ain't no love lost. But like I said, we different. I'm not cut from where they from. I'm not you, anybody. They could have spoke with any platform. They was on your platform recently. They didn't speak on it. They didn't say there's no throuple. They just kind of dive around it. They don't really answer the question. I'm waiting for somebody to answer the question. Not one of them ever say, nah, there's no throuple. They just say, oh, she's good. She's a great friend. That's weird. Just answer the question. Have y'all ever did anything? One question, yes or no, and they never answer that. They just leave it blank, and that's weird to me. If you want people to just guess, I'm not for that. <laughs> huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm intrigued by you, uh, Ray. Uh, <laughs> Are you from the Bronx or Harlem? I'm Bronx. I'm going Mount Vernon. So Bronx. I, I knew. I knew. I knew it was either. I used to live in New York. I knew it was either the Bronx or Harlem. You. It was, oh, yeah, I yeah. knew it was the Bronx, which is why I yeah. said it first. I'm gonna tell the um, Harlem people are very loud. I'm not loud. So, but Bronx people are a little. Oh, I know yeah, because stalkers lady. aren't loud either. So I. I, I <laughs> that's that's what I know to be true. Um, okay, this is very interesting. So look. Um, I was not expecting to meet you, Ray. This was a great thank surprise. Uh, no, Carmen knows you. I love me some Carmen. She's such <laughs> a good girl. Carmen is so spicy, like no, my yeah. um, yeah, I know, <laughs> like the ingredients I put in my vegan food, child. She is definitely <laughs> um a spicy person. But all jokes aside, Carmen, is there anything else you would like to clear up before I let you go and and be with your man for the night? I don't think so. Um, like I, I really don't have no real beef with nobody. 
Mm. Not no beef. Not no real beef. You know what I'm I saying? don't even notice them, so honestly, I don't really no, know. No, no real beef. Them. I feel like, you know, as black ex- excellence, we can we can disagree and and then we can get on the same page at the end of the day, you know? Mm-hmm. Like we all in the same area, the DMV. So I really feel like that we could really just come together at some point. And um if not, I'm still living my best life. I don't care. Okay. <clears throat> Cause and, and, and you look very happy because even physically, you guys give me very Phaedra and Apollo. So, you know. Have you been to prison before, right? No, the couple don't say that, no. No, I have oh, not. I have not. Yeah, please, don't do that. Yeah, I ain't never done. I mean, you look. <laughs> not, not, not the stereotype. You do have a sleeve. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got a. Hey, got both of them. He got them on yeah, the Now you gonna have everybody looking to see. They gonna be like, yeah, this motherfucker. I know, I know, I know. I can look all y'all want. You ain't gonna see shit. Okay. Can't see shit. No. Let all jokes aside. I, I thank you, Carmen, for um hopping on reality with the king to clear the air to say your piece as we get into the. Finale and the reunion next Saturday. So raindrops next Saturday, eight o'clock is the season finale of Love and Marriage DC. And then right after is part one of three, three parts, but it's part one next week of the reunion at nine o'clock. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Carmen makes an appearance at the reunion as well. So you don't want to miss that. And Ray, I thank you for surprising me. Thank you. <laughs> and and okay. next week it's spicy too. We end yes, the finale is spicy too. Ooh. A lot of things. Carmen's back for the finale too, so you can't get enough of her. And raindrops, I am here for you guys. And look, I am having my Love and Marriage DC ladies on May twelfth at the Howard Theater in DC for the tour. So make sure you guys get a ticket. Go to Kingdom Rain Ant dot com kingdom rank and dot com and <clears throat> i gotta read these super chats before i let you go okay <clears throat> so silk and velvet saying there's no friend or loyalty in this lady's bones if you were friends you would never ever discuss your friendship within the people who never loved your friendship that's how she feels child okay um uh, <laughs> They're saying catch Carlos watch Ready to Love season five reunion. Thanks, Peggy. Okay. I'm gonna watch that this weekend then. All right, cool. All right. Love you, Carmen. Nice love to meet you. you, Ray. And I will see y'all soon. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>